Achieving major molecular response in chronic myeloid leukemia or CML is, a, is an important milestone and it is really associated with higher chances of uh, treatment free remission. However, and, and this led to current guidelines or even prevailing dogma to, uh, to define not achieving this MMR as a sign of treatment failure warning by, by one year of therapy. So this really pressured uh, oncologists to, to switch TKIs or even consider a stem cell transplant in patients who do not this meet milestone. But the question we wanted to ask ourselves is meeting, is not meeting this milestone really associated with adverse survival? Uh, and and what to do? What's the outcome in patients who do not achieve this milestone? So in order to do that, we did a retrospective analysis of, and we identified 131 patients at MD Anderson Cancer Center who who did not meet this milestone after even two years of therapy. Keeping in mind that the failure is defined starting one year of therapy, and and we looked at their survival. Uh, interestingly enough, we saw that patients who achieved at least major cytogenetic response, which is the equivalent of BCRB ABL levels of less than 10% on international scale, continued to have uh, favorable CML related survival at least. And then, and this is a very long term follow up. And then, 10 year overall survival, CML related overall survival was uh, 95%. Now, this became a particularly important among relatively older, in the relatively older population, patients aged 60 and above, where we realized that the, the causes of their mortality is really related more to the comorbidities unrelated to CML. And therefore, in this population also, uh, switching different TKIs to more toxic ones, especially those that have, could have potentially, let's say, cardiovascular or other toxicities that may affect their comorbidities, could actually be more detrimental, especially that in these patients, we've seen a 10-year CML-related mortality mortality uh, of CMR related overall survival of 100%. So really all of the mortalities uh, were due to CMR unrelated causes. So this basically shows that not achieving major molecular response is not really adverse. And we believe that this should be considered in, in future guidelines, especially in patients where the aim of treatment is not really related to the treatment-free remission.